There, here I am again, with a pretty simple build this time. This build is gonna give you a cannon that shoots a fish and looks like a dolphin. Let's get started. Okay, well, first thing we need to do is this to actually summon the cannon. Execute as at a name equals your name, that's important, as item equals item equals code location, and then that stuff here. Add it as unless entity at e radius equals 2 name equals cannon run summon dolphin cannon. That's gonna summon a dolphin with the name cannon, which is our actual cannon. Uh, unless the, uh, there is already one, yeah, and only if we held, hold a cot in our hand. So we can change this entity. Let's just take a peek. That looks pretty strange, but the other one didn't look any better, I guess. Then we're gonna teleport this cannon towards the direction we're facing and it's also gonna point towards the direction we're facing which can be done by using this command block here. If you want to change the distance then just change this number here. And then uh, we have this command block here which kills the cannon unless we have a cord in our hand. Now we will make the cannon actually summon fish that explode, but more about the explosion stuff later. Execute edit e, name equals cannon run, summon cod bullet, and then this I don't know how to uh, call those half triangles or whatever this is, summon, let's just take pigs again. Yeah that looks even worse than the fish. I think I'm gonna change this again later. Execute s at e, name equals cannon at it s, run play sound, mob dot place dot shoot at p, tilde 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 0.1. That's uh, that adjust the volume, so if you want uh, that full volume, just leave everything uh, from here out. And this command box on chain conditional and always active. Play animation at e name equals cannon animation dot warden dot sonic underscore boom b 0.5. The b actually doesn't matter, it could be an a or whatever instead. All the, uh, it's also on chain conditional and always active. This one is gonna play this animation, but I think that should be clear. Execute s at e name equals bullet added s rotated s at e name equals cannon c equals one run tp at s. This stuff here. So this could be problematic if you're playing with multiple players who've got a cannon. But I have no friends, okay. No, sorry, that's the wrong command block. Actually, we're gonna start with this one here. I know this looks long, but it isn't actually. Yeah, it is, but who cares. Uh, however, just copy all of those stuff here. And then run summon ender underscore crystal tilde 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 minecraft crystal explode, which is gonna summon exploding ender crystals if there's an entity nearby. And uh, this one is pretty much the same, but that's not gonna summon an entity, so it's not gonna cause an explosion, but it's uh, gonna affect all of uh, the players nearby with this camera shake effect. And then we just need to kill the fish if uh, the fish is too far away from us or from the cannon or whatever. It's just execute s at e, name equals bullet, added s, if entity at p, rm equals 25, run, summon, and all of those stuff. Of this stuff, sorry. Kill at e, name equals bone, and kill at e, name equals raw cord. The quotation marks are important by the way. Yeah, that's uh, just to kill the items so they don't lie around everywhere and if like infinite cannons. I really hope you enjoyed the video. By the way, I've got a new skin if you haven't already noticed and goodbye.